Spoiler warning, if you have not seen Season 5 of Game of Thrones, read the books, or the Telltale games, this is your one and only warning. Uh, I'm Afterburn, and this is Game of Spoils, and I have a very special guest on today, Evil Zane! Hi guys, I'm Evil Zane. And uh, we're playing Episode 2 of the Telltale games, at least I'm playing it. But we're talking about episode one of Game of Thrones, called The Red Woman. Oh, is this what we do in this video? We just talk about, like, the Game of Thrones game, or show while we play Clearly the game? Clearly you didn't watch the, the previous video. I have not. That's okay. <laughs> He's not a fan. He's just a guest. <laughs> the background is so fucking awful in this game. Did you see that? Yeah, what the hell? It's so bad. <laughs> like, most Telltale games have awesome backgrounds. That just looks terrible. The, the challenge I have with this video is while well, discussing Game of Thrones and like trying to pay attention to this. Oh, okay. You know. So let's start then. Start get it started. What what should we talk about from this episode that we didn't just watch five minutes ago? You watched it five minutes ago. <laughs> but that's what I fully expected. Well, I have some talking points here, and the first thing I noticed, was, or I just noticed today, actually, was there was no Bran in that episode. Yeah, didn't they show him in, like, oh, I guess that was just the season, like, trailer, or the season teaser, not, teaser, sorry, not just, um, like, the episode one teaser. Yeah. So, at least we'll get to see him at some point. He'll show up eventually. Yeah, uh, I felt like that, I liked the episode, but it was a very business episode, it was like... It was like, we have all these characters, and it's like, you have to show them, get, you know, even there was some deaths in the episode, and it was just like... There's some pretty cool we, deaths. We gotta get these deaths out of the way to, to continue <laughs> the story. These characters aren't aren't gonna be in the show anymore. It's gotta set up, like, um... It's gotta set the mood for the rest of the season, right? So it's gotta get there first before it can, like, give us all the exciting stuff. Like, now we see that there's a change of guard, um... In... What's, this, what's that place called? That, uh... Um, Dorn. Dorn. Yeah, there's a change of the guard there. There's going to be a new person in charge, and then probably going to screw the up the way things are right now in the world of whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what the uh, what do they call the land? Westeros. Re Westeros. Yes. But I thought the uh, stabbing of the guy in the face was pretty. At the same, uh, t it was pretty cool, but at the same time, dick move. You're talking about. Tristan Martell. Yeah. Uh, son of Doran Martell. Who yeah. were both murdered in that episode. Yeah. By their own family. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny because in the books, like, Doran Martell wants what, exactly what the Sand Snakes want, but he's more careful, he's more cautious. Let's go. Like, uh, he, yeah. he wants to align with Daenerys Targaryen and overthrow, but the Sand Snakes aren't, aren't thinking about the long game there. They're like, let's get our revenge right now. That's so they kill all, we kill all these weak leaders and do what we want. That'll be their undoing. It's the red woman at the end of the episode. Ah, the the episode. Ah, you're like, oh man, this hot chick's getting naked. I was again. so excited, and then I wasn't. <laughs> no, it kind of reminded me of The Shining. You ever see it, Yeah, that's exactly. That was the first thing I thought about was The Shining, and of course I've seen The Shining. Hey, keep it down. We're trying to have a conversation here. Jesus, we Son. must not quarrel. <laughs> awesome. but, yeah, but interesting my theory upon that is as I, I mentioned earlier is that she puts a glamour on herself and makes herself look young and beautiful but she really is that old woman withered woman there but does it like restore her youth because it seemed like she was moving around quite fine with, with it on but after she took, she took it off she started acting old too so is it like a ring or a, a, a bro what do they call it? Glamour? An amulet? An amulet that goes around your neck? Is it like something that restores her youth while she's wearing it no. and maybe prolongs her life? Or is it just something that hides it from everybody else? I, I don't know the magic behind it, but as far as I know, it's just a projection of a person. It's the, it doesn't make you younger, it just makes you look that way. More pleasable to the eye. But like, wouldn't, wouldn't the other characters see her like hobbling around like an old woman? They're seeing a totally different person, so they're seeing how that person walks. Man, she looks like she would be able to keep up with anything. Attention. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I guess we'll find out at some point. 
Yeah, well, that's that's the thing. Like, we're we're depending on her to bring Jon Snow back to life. Yeah. But it's or like, or the uh, the uh, White Walkers could always bring him back as a White Walker. That's always that is a possibility. That'd be pretty cool. You have a point, so uh, even though I wasn't listening to you, this is just what it's like being mad. You're, like, you're not listening to women talking, and you just have to respond. Uh, <laughs> you'll never get married that way. <laughs> oh no! Lack of confidence. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than set in the stables. But my thing about the red woman is, I don't think she can. Oh my god! I'm just gonna not talk. Oh, uh, you should have kept him drunk. <laughs> I don't. I can't. Her prophecies are all come wrong. That's why she's all sad and depressed, right? Like she thought Stannis was going to be the Lord of Light and, and rescue Westeros, and she thought Jon Snow was going to be fighting at Winterfell. None of that shit's come true. Actually, both those characters are dead right now. Did we actually see Stannis die? Not technically. Well, then there's always the odd chance that he didn't die. And as for Jon Snow. Well, there's the White Walker uh, theory where he can come, he, he might yes. come back as a White Walker. Well, In which case, what she saw wasn't him defending, uh, what was it called? Uh, Winterfell? Winterfell. Him attacking it. I suppose. That would be cool. That would be a, you know, the, the Red red Priests always say, you know, the, the, their god, of, their Lord of Light never lies. It's so just... It, they just misread the fires. Exactly. From the books, the way it seemed to me was like you know how in in the show she ran out with Stannis's uh, war pack and then she came back at the end, right? She you know it's, she kind of thought figured they were gonna lose, so she ran back to the wall in the in the show, right? As you remember, at the, at the end of the season, yeah. she came in. Davos was still at the wall. So, from the books, I got the feeling that. The red woman saw Jon Snow that was he was going to die from the way that he did die, and that she needed to be there to bring him back to life. Like that's how I saw that playing out based off the books. But now it's totally different. Is that yeah. the letter to the orphanage? Yes. Because she was always like telling him to be careful, and she can't. He like telling him he can't trust sure trust his brothers at the wall. All the and mm, something nice hmm. after that. Yeah, that's. It's interesting. Well, I'm, as much it. as I'm glad that you know it's not becoming predictable, and I you know, I don't know what's going to happen, I'm kind of disappointed it didn't go that way. Oh, yeah. The way I thought it was. But, you know, whatever. Well, there's still more episodes to go. Oh, yeah. There's so much that's. I mean, like if you even take you can you can even, you can even take the interviews with the actors with a grain of salt because um, everyone's like asking if Jon Snow is going to come back, and all Kid Harrington is saying is Jon Snow's dead. Technically, he is dead. Right now he's dead, dead, dead. Like on a scale of one to dead, he's super dead. But you can, if you look at the um, the mountain, he was in that episode. Um, he's been brought back to life. Yes. So characters that are dead don't necessarily mean they're gonna stay dead. Yeah, and that's a theme throughout the book that uh, dead doesn't quite mean what it used to be. Yeah. Well, obviously. <laughs> I mean, we're a long ways away from when you know Sean Bean was beheaded. Mm -hmm. But even in the book, like, uh, uh, Lady Stark, Catelyn Stark comes back to life. Really? A, she, but she's kind of like a, not, I wouldn't call her a White Walker, but she's all, like, gross like that. Oh, like she's composed, called, like a zombie? Yeah, she's called, like, Lady Stonehenge or something. Oh. Something weird like that. Weird. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. How did she, how did she get brought back to life? That's not clear. Oh. But I, th I think it has something to do with... Uh, the way the way that she was killed because they have those old rules of like when you when you visit someone you have guest right if you eat their food or whatever wrong. yeah and a letter from me so since they were killed the at a wedding the you know they were eating they were they had guest right in the, in the phrase um, castle there. and they were that that by killing them that, that violated them things. you know on that thing like in the grudge when someone dies in such a horrific oh. way and they come back okay so, some, something along those lines is my theory I don't know I don't know anything sure. about it but. so like uh, Viking burial grounds you, you disturb their shit they will come back as like zombies yeah okay cool. some sort of evil spirit because yeah. we'll so there's been an injustice later. kind of thing right okay that's cool yeah and there's a whole actually in the books 
she kills Brienne of Tarth. Really? Yes, because you know, obviously she's like this dead thing that's pissed off, right? And you were supposed to protect me. Yeah, Bam! Exactly. Done. That's exactly what her point was. Well, that's shitty of her. Mm-hmm. And I never liked Catalina Stark though. She no, was, I, she I was mean to Jon Snow. I, I didn't mind her, and then you look at it, it's like, she's like, oh, all she wants to be, oh god, I'm not paying attention to this at all. You want to finish the letter or forge a letter? I'm not gonna forge a letter. I'm a good person. When you play the I'm Game of Thrones, King's, you play I'm to in, win, Sean. I'm in King's that La- I'm in King's Land. Uh. I'm in King's Landing here, and I'm like some. I'm I'm the. Yeah. I'm almost a Stark. I'm a forester, okay? I don't got a lot of friends around. I can't be making miss moves. Oh. This chick doesn't like me because I don't trust I her. I you're very busy with Lady Marjorie. You don't trust her? But what were we talking about? We were talking about, uh... Um... Oh, crap. What were we talking about? We were talking about Brianna Tarth. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, how Catalina's a bitch? <laughs> Catalina. Yeah, like, I'm like... All she was... Oh, I wasn't paying attention to her. All she cared about was her kids. And look what the fuck happened to her kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're all... Most of them are dead, and they're all yeah. fucked up. Like, you did a terrible job as a mother. <laughs> one of them is blind. One of them... But I, that's only temporary, though. That's actually part of her training. I figured it was. Like, she... she, she They're disciplining her. She broke their Absolutely. rules, so they're, she's being disciplined. Yeah, she took a life that she was not... You know, she has to learn that. She yeah. can't just kill whatever she wants. Yeah, and right now they're just kind of training her while they're doing that. And it's good, because she'll be able to hone her other senses, like her hearing, her smell... Yeah, uh, and, and that's part of her training too. Like as you can see, her she was sitting there uh, begging, but she was listening. You know, she, yeah, that was part of her training is to listen, oh, and not rely voices. on your sight. You know. Yeah. Oh, look at this. So moved. Fuck off! Tell him yeah. to fuck off. All right. I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> He'll remember that. <laughs> sure. You fuck potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making any said. friends here. No, I, I would have kept silent. They would have respected you for that. I didn't hear what he asked. <laughs> so who's fucking around around here? Well, this is gonna be the worst playthrough of this game. Oh yeah, ever. you're gonna yeah. <laughs> whatever. You're not. You're gonna end up like Jon Snow. <laughs> yeah, Lord Commander, top top of the ranks, and then dead in the snow. <laughs> In a few years, this group's gonna need a lord, new Lord Commander. Those who do well. Uh oh. Oh, they're planning something. So, what else can we talk about this episode? Oh yes. You're, you're right on point. Oh you're, shit! You're great... Speak of the devil. Oh, he is here. Don't get too close to the terrible background. Oh. <laughs> you're doing that all wrong. Are these where I? Nice, <laughs> idiot. Let me show you. Come on, don't uh, fuck this uh, up. Don't uh, fuck this up. B. Can I shoot my foot off? Yeah. All right, let's see if you can aim worth the wildling's ass. Yeah. Shoot the targets I tell you to. He's watching. He's don't watching. fuck it up. I gotta be good. Be good, man. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Is it like an aim? Oh. Center of the chest. Shoot him in the dick. Shoot him in the dick? No. Look at that. Follow orders at least. Next bolt. It's a dummy. Left like, target head. Doesn't have a dick. Left target head. Good. Oh, deadly with a crossbow. Right target. Check. You're so good at this game. It takes so much <laughs> this skill. This game's not about like, What did he say? Yes. Not bad. Oh. Center. Between the eyes. Come on, this is your chance to shine. Center, center of the eyes. Oh, that's the right. That was way off the oh, right. I thought he meant center on that one. You couldn't, man. Well, I completed it. Place. Don't want to be too good. We gotta have some room. I for, even told I gotta you. Some, gotta have some room for some improvement. He's not impressed. Look at that. You had a shot. Cross to... crossbow is a girly weapon, anyways. I fight with a sword, like a man. You're gonna die by a crossbow like a bitch. Real wild thing got his hands on you. He's just a bully. Ah, he is. That's why I took this. Don't fuck this up like you fucked up the crossbow training. Yeah, I passed my test. Who I'm taking that one? Yeah, red hilt. You got a B, and in this family, a B is not acceptable. A B is not a pass. This is the wall. Well, they they take rapers and thieves. You get an A or nothing.
You know, it tells you to press one button, but I hear you like pressing a whole bunch. Uh, just in case it doesn't get that first one. Well full. Oh yeah, Siri. Get off me, you bloody ox! You got lucky. That's what your mom said. <laughs> huh? To your dad? No, to me. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined my singer. See, you're touching the horse. Yep. Oh, the horse. Oh, <laughs> he really he likes that. that. Oh, oh, yeah. Lift this shit. Do you even lift, bro? Oh, I do now. Ah, fuck you. What a show off, fuck some you, bitch. Man. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. See? <laughs> You've seen this, haven't you? No, I haven't. It's just, it's just, it's known. If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Don't snitch him. That's right. I'm gonna snitch. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and it was you. What? What? Look how big his eyes got. What? Well, so this then! He's calling a thief a thief! Just can't. Punch him! Punch him. I fucking warned you! Not my fight. Oh. You punch me. I won't say it again. Don't ever hit me again. The fuck. Oh. I saw it. I tried before you did. Nice. Now about this. Kill him with kindness, bitch. Nice. Nice! Oh, come on, man. That was I your chance. It. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Find <laughs> your fucking manners. Frost fingered. You. Frost slapped. I'm just gonna end it now. Yeah, you're gonna end it now. That's okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> okay. Oh, you're yeah, okay. I'm just gonna stop it. All it's right. gonna be fine. Was right, want... there any final thoughts you had on the other episode? Um, we quit. Well, we were mostly talking about the Game of Thrones, so I really didn't pay too much no, attention. No, I mentioned Game of Thrones. That's why I wanted. Uh, oh, oh, uh, final thoughts. Um, I'm looking forward to the next episode because they're set up for a lot of stuff. Like, uh, Davos defending Jon Snow is definitely going to happen in the next episode, right? They said before, yeah. before sundown or whatever. Yeah. So that that's going down. My final thought is not enough dragons. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for watching this episode. Um, and uh, I had so much stuff. You're terrible at outros. I know I am. <laughs> Uh, Afterburn's on Facebook now, so if you want, you could uh, check me out on Facebook. Leave comments on this video if uh, you want us to talk about certain things from certain episodes. That's always encouraged. And look out for the next episode next week. Till then, I'm Afterburn out. See you guys. Bye-bye.